Welcome to another video from GIC Learning Hub. We hope this will help you to understand our products in a better way. Presenting Links Plus Gateway These are the various prominent features. In this video, we will show you how to use the Links Gateway software. The configuration steps for communication between Modbus RTU Slave and Modbus TCP IP client using Links Gateway. Connect Gateway device with PC using Ethernet cable. Open Links Gateway version 16.0 software. Click on Links Locator and check the default IP address of connected Gateway device. Go to Open Network and Sharing Center. Click on Local Area Network. Click on Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, that is IPv4, and click on Properties. Go to Advanced. Select Add IP Address. Add IP Address. And Subnet Mask. Make sure the IP address is from the same network. Click on OK to save the settings, and close Network and Sharing Center. In this example, we have configured TCP, IP address of PC is following, subnet mask is following, and default gateway is following. Go to File menu and Links Gateway Software, Create New Project Configuration. Select device type, links, or links plus. Assign project name, project description, project directory, and fill required details, and click OK. Select the required product. 25A11A0 that is Modbus protocol converter, or 25B11A0 that is serial to Ethernet converter. In this example, we have selected 25A11A0 that is Modbus protocol converter. Click Next. In the next window, User can select Driver 1 and Driver 2 protocol settings. Options for Driver 1 settings are, Modbus RTU Master, Modbus RTU Slave, Modbus ASCII, Master, Modbus ASCII Slave. Options for Driver 2 settings are, Modbus TCP Client, Master, Modbus TCP Server, Slave. In this example, we have selected Driver 1 setting as Modbus RTU Master, and Driver 2 setting as Modbus TCP Server, Slave. After selecting Driver 1 and Driver 2 protocol, click on Next. Data mapping window will pop up. Click on No, then Driver Settings page will get opened as per selection of Master or Slave mode. Go to Driver 1 Settings option, open PLC software to check communication parameters. Settings of both RTU devices should be same. Setting options for Driver 1 as, Port, Baud Rate, Data Size, Stop Bit, and Parity. Click on Edit and modify settings as per RTU slave device, that is PLC connected to the gateway. After editing is done, click on Apply. In this example, we have edited the driver 1 settings as port RS485, baud rate is 9600, data size is 8, stop bit is 1, and parity is none, same as settings done in PLC software. Go to Driver 2 Settings option. Click on Edit and modify settings as per Modbus DCP client device connected to the gateway. IP address of gateway device and PC should be in same network with different IP address for both. In this example, we have edited the driver 2 settings as, IP mode, static IP, IP addresses 192, 168, 10, 10. Subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. Default gateway is 192, 168, 10, 1. Make sure the IP address is same as before. After editing is done, click on Apply. Go to Download Firmware. User can find IP address, MAC address, remote IP, application title, device type, status of firmware download, enabled or disabled, Options in blue highlighted area if Ethernet cable is connected in between PC and gateway device. 
If firmware download status is disabled, then go to Links Locator, and double-click on IP address. Links Gateway webpage will get opened. Enter default password, that is Gateway, and click on Login. User can see the device information on home page. Go to Miscellaneous menu. Scroll down. Then select Firmware Downloading Through Software. Here a user can enable the firmware downloading through software, and click on Submit. Click on OK. After submitting, user can download firmware through Link's Gateway Software. Go to Link's Gateway Software. Click on Refresh to get updated status of firmware download. Double click on blue highlighted area. Software will show IP address, and MAC address of Gateway device. Click on Yes, select Network as Local, and click on Configure. User can download the settings in the Gateway device. After successfully downloading the firmware, Configuration Done Successfully window will pop up. Settings for Link's Gateway device are done. Open Modbus Communication Software. Now user can check communication between Modbus RTU slave device, and Modbus TCP, IP client device. In Modbus Communication Software, Configure IP address of gateway to communicate with PLC. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to contact us or drop an inquiry on our website. GIC India, we stay committed to being excellent.